Hey, welcome back to Pokes Food Channel here. Um, this just came in today, boy. This is this is not an easy guitar to find. I, I um, this is probably going to go pretty quick. This is made in Japan in the '70s, Alvarez model 5064. It's got the cutaway. Um, it's really got a beautiful sound, and I don't think it's been played that much. So it's I, I've been just sitting on the couch watching football. Put some new strings on it. It could use a little bit of setup work. You could just take the bottom of this saddle down a little bit. I adjusted the neck on a little bit. You could take the bottom of the saddle down. Looks like somebody did a little bit of notching in the saddle. Uh, or you could just get a new saddle. So, you know, you might need to, you know, spend, you know, 40 bucks on a setup or you could do it yourself. But boy, it sure does have a beautiful tone. Um, action's a little bit high right now. That's just because I'm kind of, I just adjusted the neck today whenever I adjust the neck on it. And it adjusted real easily, by the way, which is a really good sign, by the way. But whenever I adjust the neck, I like to let, let it kind of ease into itself a little bit. But yeah, it really uh, kind of has that kind of Alvarez Jari kind of tone. Really nice. Just needs a little bit of setup work, so um, but yeah, it's in really good shape. It's got kind of a nice big sound hole, and one of these just recently sold on eBay, you know, for five fifty. If you want to, um, my price on this is five fifty, but if you want to just do a direct deposit into my Wells Fargo account, um, I will do five hundred, and then you can that helps you with the setup a little bit, and you pay some shipping, probably about thirty, about thirty, uh, thirty seven on shipping. But yeah, the, the, these are just amazing sounding guitars. I don't get too many of these made in Japan in the 70s, Alvarez guitars. Um, and this is probably one of the more rare ones that I've seen. It's got a really nice looking rosette too with some very intricate, uh, you know, hand done work there. But it's in really pretty good shape. I mean, the body looks really nice and the, the back looks gorgeous and the, well, it's a heck of a box. But anyway, this is gonna be kind of a short demo, but just want you to hear it. I just put on a set of 11s. But yeah, when, when you li when you listen to this guitar, you kind of put your ear in the front of the sound hall. It really has that kind of a Alvarez Yari. Kind of a interesting overtones, and uh, it's a beautiful tone. If I spend money and set this guitar up, I'm probably going to want to keep it because I know how good these guitars sound. And every time I get one of these beautiful made in the, in the 70s Alvarez guitars made in Japan, um, it's always really hard to sell it. But it seems like I always end up with people that are really cool people that I really seem to kind of connect with. Um, I, I like their vibe and if it goes to somebody I like, I feel better about it. But uh, these, are just, these are some of the best selling guitars in the world at any price. And those you out there that have one of these guitars know that you know it's the truth. But this has really got a gorgeous top. It looks really nice and uh, it's a lot of guitar, man. But it does need a little bit of setup work. So I mean, like I said, I, I, I know luthiers that would just take this you can actually buy a saddle cheap. I mean, 10, 15 bucks, just sand the bottom of it. You could probably do it yourself, or if you want to pay somebody, you know, 30, 40 bucks to do it, you could do that as well. But it does need a little setup work. But like I said, I adjusted the neck today, and it is adjusted easily, which is a very, very good sign. And just the fact that there is this much saddle is kind of a, a good sign too, because usually you, you find these and, and somebody's taking the saddle down super, 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 super low. 
And, uh, you know, setup is a very subjective thing as well. So in a way, you know, it's kind of nice somebody can set up how they want it, you know what I mean? But uh, I think if I was going to keep this guitar, I would just either sand the bottom of this, of this present saddle down. I do see just a very slight crack in the saddle right here. Somebody might have notched it and maybe got a little, little aggressive. I'm not sure if it's a crack. Yeah, it feels like a little crack. So, uh, but anyway, you could, you could either... Uh, Either to just sand the bottom of this saddle or get a new saddle for 10, 15 bucks and then sand the bottom of that a little bit. But yeah, it just needs a little bit of setup work. But I used to do a lot of setups. I don't do as much setups anymore, quite frankly, because everybody likes it a little bit differently. So I've had people that say, oh, I want it higher and some people want it lower. So anyway, but these are just amazing guitars. So uh, anyway, if you want, if, if you pay by PayPal, it's 550 because I have to pay PayPal fees if you want to do direct deposit into my Wells Fargo account, then you, uh, you know, then you don't have to pay any kind of wire transfer fee either. You just walk into my Wells Fargo, I give, I give the account information, you just do a deposit for me, and about 37 shipping, you got yourself a very, very rare vintage guitar. I mean, these are just amazing instruments. All right, take care.